Hey y'all, and welcome back into the kitchen for another Jake Bakes. Today, I'm joined by another host of a show on 30 Something Digital and my friend, Matt Goad. Hey Jake, how's it going? It's going super well. I'm super excited to be back in the kitchen, especially with you. I'm always glad to have you here. So Jake's in town right now to film all new episodes of Jake Bakes, and while he's here, we wanted to have a little shindig, a little good old fashioned hoedown, and invite everybody over for snacks and refreshments. And I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. What are you What are you bringing to the table? What, what cocktail are you bringing? I'm making a cocktail that's a secret and I'm not gonna tell you, you're gonna have to find out when you come downstairs in a little bit. But what are you making? I'm making something that's really, really delicious. Cocktails go perfect with finger foods because I don't wanna have like a burger and a cocktail. I just don't have them in my hands. Um, but I'm making eclairs. They're super, really, really delicious. Little finger foods full of custard and dipped in chocolate and they are Absolutely divine. They sound absolutely delicious. I can't wait to, to, to try one. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna go downstairs and start making cocktails, and you should honestly get to work up here because people are coming, baby. Hey. They're gonna wanna eat. You know what, my eclairs, uh, they'll be great on their own, but I, I hope you're gonna, <laughs> I hope you're gonna bring this cocktail. You're so aggressive. I'm gonna go make cocktails. I'll Thank see you. you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Ah, oh, that's so much better. The best thing about eclairs is that it's a pretty simple procedure and requires very few ingredients. We're gonna grab the dry ingredients and put them all together, which includes a cup of flour and about a tablespoon extra, two tablespoons of just plain white sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Just put those all together in a bowl, set them over to the side. And on the stove top, grab a pan because we're gonna melt down a cup of water with a, with a half a cup of butter. We're gonna simmer the water until it melts all of that butter in there. And finally, the last thing we need is just four eggs. So my butter is now nicely melted in here and you can see the, it's starting to steam, which is good. I'm gonna pull this off. And now we're gonna take all of the dry ingredients. All of this just goes right in here. Now you're gonna want to stir pretty vigorously when this goes in. So I start out slow because I don't want to slosh everything everywhere. But I was going to quickly start to kind of form up almost like just a really quick dough. You can see in here. And now you want to put this back on your electric eye or on your stove top and cook this flour out for about one to two minutes. So it's not like raw flavor of the flour. Keep it uh, stirring constantly because you don't want to scorch it but this doesn't take too long at all. So we've had this now going for just a minute or two and I let it cool off so it's not just super, super hot. Cause now we're gonna add the eggs in slowly. So what I do just to make sure that I'm not gonna overcook the eggs because you don't wanna add like super hot to super or super cold to super hot cause it'll cook the egg. I just flatten it out and kind of put little divots in here with a wooden spoon. And take the egg and you're gonna crack it, get it in there, and then stir. It's gonna look like it's kind of curdling and cooking too quickly. That's okay. Every time you add an egg, it's gonna do that. Just keep stirring through that moment. See how much it's already changed just with one egg? It kind of becomes more and more elastic the more and more eggs you add. You wanna add another? But see, it, it always kind of, when you add this in, it always kind of gets weird to stir. But just give it like a second and it'll go back to being normal. Yeah, see how it's becoming more and more like a, almost a batter. All right, and one final egg, finally. And after we get this one mixed in, you just wanna mix it for just like 30 seconds longer because this is gonna get nice and glossy and really thin. <sighs> Mama's warm. See how shiny that is now? It's like actually like glossy. That is perfect pate -a -choux. 
I'm gonna grab a piping bag, get that loaded in, and we'll get these piped onto our baking tray and get them in the oven. I have gone ahead and filled a piping bag full with our pot of shoe. So we're just gonna go down like this. Stop, pull up. And you want them to keep them a little wider so that they actually bake a little bit thicker because we want to get as much filling in these as possible. This is also the basis of cream puffs. So if you want to do a couple cream puffs, I just go down like this. And we're going to smooth these out. So get your finger wet. You can actually just, because there's so much butter in there, you can just kind of go ahead and smooth these out. That way you get nice smooth ones, especially with the cream puffs. Perfect. My little exclamation points. When you're ready to bake them, you can do a couple trays all in one uh, oven. You're gonna go ahead and bake them for about 15 minutes at 400. Turn the uh, temperature down to 375 and turn, them, uh, turn the pans, swap them out too if they're on different shelves and cook them again for another 15 minutes until they're nice golden brown. As soon as they come out, pop a little like toothpick in them just to let the steam evaporate from the inside and you'll be all set to fill them up. All right, these have come out of the oven and I've let them cool just slightly. We've picked that hole in there so that the steam escapes so they're nice and crispy. Now I just get to fill them and dunk them in delicious chocolate. Now I've chosen here to use like a pastry cream, but honestly, you can use whatever you'd like. I've done these with whipped cream before. They're fantastic with whipped cream, but I love like the creamy custard of pastry cream. Just go ahead and put this in all the way. Just squeeze till it's full. You can feel it get, like, get heavier as it goes. Perfect. One. I'm gonna dip this right in. Oh, look at that. That, my friends, mm, is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that deliciousness. Check that out. I should save some for others, but I just, I have to have a bite. Oh, oh my gosh. And see, nice and hollow in there. And like the pastry cream just lines the bottom. Don't tell anyone. This is so good. Guys, this is a recipe you can quickly make at home and impress all of your friends because these are gorgeous. These are absolutely beautiful. Sorry. A few ingredients, just a little bit of time. Now, please like, share, and subscribe if you already haven't and let's get downstairs and find out exactly what Matt is whipping up behind the bar.